click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends we are with the third chapter of microwave engineering microwave cross field tubes the very popular device being the oscillator cylindrical magnetron we have studied and also we are solved with the one problem so based on to the understanding so of cylindrical magnetron let us take another problem so here for the cylindrical magnetron we have been provided with the problem statement the problem statement is an x band that is pulsed conventional magnetron has the following parameters the parameters are v0 is equal to 5.5 kilovolts i0 is equal to 5 amperes f is equal to 10 gigahertz gr is equal to 2 into 10 raised to power minus 4 mo gl is equal to 2.5 into 10 raised to power minus 5 mo c is equal to 2.5 picofarads dc is equal to 0 0.002 p loss is equal to 18.5 kilowatts we are asked to compute in the part a the angular resonant frequency in the part b the unloaded quality factor in part c the loaded quality factor part d the external quality factor next to that we require the circuit efficiency to be computed and lastly the electronic efficiency so let us begin to start solving for part a so to solve for part a we require the given details first of all to be noted down so very first of all v0 is provided to us v0 is actually the beam voltage applied to the cylindrical magnetron so the value here is 5.5 kilovolts that is 5.5 into 10 raised to power plus 3 volts here along with the dc potential applied to the cylindrical magnetron the beam current generated that is capital i0 the dc beam current will be equal to 5 ampere as per the problem statement next to that we are provided with operating frequency so simply frequency we can denote as the given value is 10 gigahertz hence it will be 10 into 10 raised to power 9 hertz it is now the next value provided to us here it is g sub x r so g sub x r is the resonator conductance so i mention here resonator conductance g sub x r is equal to 2 into 10 raised to power minus 4 and it is given in terms of moles here the next parameter important to us will be gl and gl is the loaded conductance loaded conductance gl will be equal to 2.5 into 10 raised to power minus 5 moles here now next to that we have here vein capacitance it is simply denoted as capital c and its value is 2.5 pico farad for pico we can take the conversion 10 raised to power minus 12 and next to that we have dc representing the duty cycle so duty cycle is equal to 0 0.002 and lastly we have the p loss p loss is the power loss denoted here power loss is equal to 18.50 kilowatts it is so into 10 raised to power 3 into watts it is now with this given details noted we go for part a in the part a we are required to compute the angular resonant frequency so angular resonant frequency is denoted as for part a we mention omega sub x r and the formula is simple it is 2 pi into frequency f sub x r so the f sub x r value is provided to us hence we substitute 2 pi in multiplication to 10 gigahertz it is 10 into 10 to power 9 so it will become 6.28 into 10 raised to power 10 so for angular frequency here we have the unit that is radians so 
so the angular resonant frequency is 6.28 into 10 to the power 10 radians after calculation of the angular resonant frequency we require in the part b the unloaded quality factor the unloaded quality factor is denoted as for part b we write q suffix un for unloading it and it is computed as omega 0 into c divided by g suffix r here so c value and g suffix r are already provided in the problem statement omega 0 value is the answer from the part a that is the angular frequency so it is at the resonance we have calculated so we substitute omega r value in place of omega suffix 0 so by the next step we obtain 6.28 into 10 to the power 10 here in the multiplication to 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 12 in the denominator here we have 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 here so by the next step we simplify it to the value 7.85 into 10 to the power 2 here so simply we can write 785 so as this is the quality factor the quality factor is actually a constant So it is a constant with respect to the resonant cavities that have the energy storage with respect to the energy dissipation here. So this is the answer for part B. After getting the answer for part B, we require to compute part C here. So in the part C, we require to calculate the loaded quality factor. So as like we have denoted unloaded quality factor, the loaded quality factor is given. So for part C, we write q suffix l for loading of the quality factor and it is computed as omega 0 into c divided by the addition of gr with that of gl so here these values are provided in the problem statement whereas part a answer is to be substituted in place of omega 0 so here we obtain 6.28 into 10 to the power 10 in multiplication to 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 12 in the denominator the addition is for 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 with that of 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 so all the values are substituted finally the loaded quality factor is obtained as q suffix l is equal to 697.7777 in the recurring order so I outline this particular answer. This is the loaded quality factor for the given cylindrical magnetron. After the calculation of unloaded and loaded quality factors, in the next part, we are required to calculate the external quality factor. The external quality factor is further given as for part D, we mention Q suffix EX computed as omega 0 into C divided by gl here so here we substitute 6.28 into 10 to the power 10 here in place of omega 0 then 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 12 in place of c the capacitance value and the gl it is 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 here so finally we obtain 6.28 into 10 to the power 3 so by the multiplication we obtain it as 6280 so this is the external quality factor for the given device here now after the calculations with respect to the quality factors at different situations here we are required by the next step to compute the circuit efficiency the circuit efficiency for the cylindrical magnetron is represented as for part E we write eta suffix C and it is computed as the ratio of GL to the addition of GL with GR so both values are already available in the problem statement we substitute so it is in the another form to make it simpler we have the formulation 1 upon 1 plus QEX or Q, U, N. So if you take 1 upon 1 plus the ratio of 
external quality factor to that of the unloaded quality factor that time also we can obtain the answer both the formulae will give us the same answer so as recently we have calculated the qex and q unloaded condition that we can substitute so it will be 1 upon 1 plus 6280 divided by 785 computed so the multiplicand with respect to the gl and gr problem will be avoided if we opt this particular formula to obtain the circuit efficiency so therefore finally the circuit efficiency is obtained as 0.1111 so in the percentage always the efficiency is mentioned so it will be 11.11 .11 percent here so i outline this is the circuit efficiency now we are left with the last part of the problem statement to compute so here at the last part we are required to compute the electronic efficiency after circuit efficiency the electronic efficiency can be denoted by eta suffix e and it will be computed as capital p suffix generation gen divided by p suffix dc that is the supplied power here so it will be equal to v0 i0 minus the losses we consider here p loss divided by we have v0 i0 so now the power generated with respect to the supplied the electronic efficiency we can obtain by the substitution in the next step it will be 5.5 into 10 to the power 3 in multiplication to the 5 amperes of current minus the losses here we have 18.50 into 10 to the power 3 divided by here we again have 5.5 into 10 to the power 3 in multiplication to the 5 here so this value becomes 0 0.3272 as this is the efficiency we must represent it in terms of percentage so the electronic efficiency eta sub e will be 32.72 percentage i outline this particular answer here so with this answer here we are covered with all the six portions to be computed for problem 2 of cylindrical magnetron provided the specifications of it by the next lecture we shall be starting with the new device in this particular chapter that is linear magnetron so i hope you are definitely getting the benefits from the knowledge we share for micro engineering for more details like this you can subscribe to ekeda channel thank you